sandwich dude hello how are you doing hello buddy? oh super i'm excited to be here you're doing um, well doing well you know getting the vitamin d every now and then get you know going going about my my day uh you know i got i i had i i had uh I had toast earlier. What kind of toast? With peanut butter on it. Which is a peanut butter? It's like butter? a multigrain. I like a little, little I get I put a little peanut butter on there. Sometimes I put a banana. Okay. But uh but uh so I, get that I didn't protein. go for the I didn't put the banana. Yeah, I didn't I didn't put banana on it. I just had a banana cuz sometimes I like the sometimes I just like eating a banana, you know. Just Wait, feel, hold you on. Know, so, putting, you, so in one hand you had the peanut butter toast and the other hand mm, you just had like a banana. banana. Uh, I'm not well, sure no, I understand I like, this double, improv bit. I didn't like akimbo it, you know. I didn't. I I I feel. I think <laughs> I, I think it was like one it. after the other. I should try. Yeah, <laughs> I should definitely try akimboing it. You, no, no. Sometimes you know. Sometimes I'll slice a banana and put it on the toast. But like other times, you know, I like. I, I you know I'm I'm I, I, I sometimes I like the 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 phallicness, you know. Okay. I banana. understand that. I get that. So I don't want to cut it. Sometimes cutting a banana kind of like internally hurts me a little bit. Just be, you know, do you, you know what I'm saying? You know, it does. It does. Uh, cutting a banana, every little slice is just like ooh, you know, ooh. It it's feels, just, ooh. you know, I don't I, know about I, that. You know, I I had a banana in my oatmeal uh today, and I is will that tell a you, is that a is that a is that what they is that like a is that like a double on is that like a sexual innuendo? No, no, no. And I you would, just said no, no, a no, banana I, in your oatmeal. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not high school again. I can't. I can't keep doing this. Uh, okay. It's. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I just. I. I ate a banana and I was cutting it. I'm like, this sucks. This feels bad. This is health yeah. class taught me a lot of things about the birds and the bees. They taught yeah. me. They taught yeah. me. You know, I, I can cuss here. They told <laughs> they me said about keep the knives away. They from told the me keep the knives the away the from the banana. Taught, yeah. And they called Absolutely. me about the penis of the vagina and like all that yep. kind of stuff. But they never told me like when I'm cutting a banana, like how it would feel. And quite yeah. frankly, no, it's it gets it in, you get in your head about it a little bit. You get it in your head. Sucks. No, so so today I did not cut the banana. I just went I just went full throttle. You know, I went full throttle. I went raw. I, I went raw dog with it. I love it. I love it. That sandwich too. Can you tell everyone what you do on the internet, please? Um. Eating banana? No, I uh, it's just uh well, more bananas. I, 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 yeah, just more. Ban it's just all banana content all the time. To be fair, um, no, we uh, you know, I I like, I, I'm that sandwich dude. So 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 most of my content is is surrounded and and it's very niche. It's it's a very niche corner of the internet that is a weird place to find, um, that deals with sandwiches. We talk about sandwiches. Right, we get hungry with sandwiches. We discuss sandwiches and sandwich-like content, and then sometimes, for some reason, there's also music involved. So, that's kind of how I've been pitching my stream. What are you playing right now? And to some, you play that's, video all, games. that's a fun place. And I also play. I do. There are games. There are games. There are ha he he ha ha fun games to play, for sure. What yeah. a, what is a he he ha ha fun game? Because when I learn when, when I fun game when I learned about a he he mm. ha ha fun game that was in college and that is a very different a very different he he ha ha fun game I will tell you that much a he he ha fun wrestle game no uh actually the, the, most of the games that we've been playing have not been he he ha fun fun I'm currently playing um. I'm currently playing Grim Fandango right Ooh, now, um, okay. which is, you know, 1998 puzzle Tim, game. Tim but Schaefer, 1998 puzzle games, yes. 1998 puzzle games um, are are absolutely ruthless is what I have learned. And either that or I'm an idiot. So it's one no, of those no, no, two no. things. It's, it's all kind um, of dog shit. I remember uh, I played <laughs> Full Throttle with my father. Uh, that is not a euphemism, but that's also a Tim Schafer game. Uh, I was homeschooled. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I used to play full throttle with my dad, and that is a Tim Schafer. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. I know. I love saying it because I hope he's here right now, and he's going to call me tomorrow. He's like, hey, Mayor. That's that's hey, what he calls me. Maybe. He's like, you can't keep making these jokes. Uh, but, like, they're just like, if you don't click on the exact same thing, it does not work well. So, yeah doesn't work but uh yeah it's been ruthless it's been a ruthless uh situation so far but um 
but but it's 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 it, there it's redeeming right you feel yeah, good afterwards of of completing the thing so i guess there's like accomplishment with it but um, i agree i yeah. agree it's you have a sense yeah. of accomplishment well <laughs> since since uh we're talking about accomplishment are you ready for your scenario today oh i've been i've been racking my brain i've been racking my brain about what what possibly the scenario could be and i'm very excited for what you have in store oh, and what you've prepared all right for this i i let you know uh -oh. i am a D, D master oh shit um <laughs> I I I have God not only played D and D, Mayor Words, but I have um, been in a uh, I was in a college stage uh, production my junior year uh, in a D and D show that was fully wrapped around the D and D space called She Kills Monsters, where I played a uh, a a retired. Uh, demon overlord that wore pajamas and ate cheese whiz the entire show for two hours straight. Okay, so I don't know if I could be more qualified to be here currently. I don't, you. you know, I mean, I that that's all great and all. I will say, as a person who went to community college, if I heard that in any other circumstance, I would kick your ass on principle. But that's okay. Fair, fair. See, I went to a college that was like top eight in the nation for acting on a stage. Okay. For that kind of thing. I can so tell. I, You're not crying it, right it was, now, it was so I can cool tell. There. It was it was cool, cool there. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was, I was in the cool one. Okay. Yeah. They, you were in the cool one. All right. Let's <laughs> the cooling theater actor thing. Perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go, mm -hmm. baby. All right. Sandwich soon. Your yes. scenario, your D and D campaign is called the Delhi Dilemma. Oh, okay. Ah. Your your Daily. exactly. Your name Daily. is your name is Kevin McCoy. You're 35. <laughs> is that is that okay? I have to ask you before we begin. Of course. I'm I'm totally fine. 35 is prime age. I'm very excited for yeah. to be 35. Yeah. Um, because I'm not 35. I'm very excited to be 35. Uh, I have to ask you why. You are really you're keeping with the 30s with pretty much everybody here. Are you, are you, 30s? Trying, are you trying? Are you parting my kimono of jokes right now? Just, I'm, you're, you're, I'm just. Are we playing I'm inside just, baseball of how I write these? I comedies? don't know if you. I don't know if you've played any game with me, but I'm going to. I'm going to tear it apart with questions. And That's fine. That's make fair. it very difficult for you to continue. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Let me let me give you your scenario, okay? I don't yep. like I don't like this exposed. It's not exposed. It's comedy, baby. See, I noticed that you don't like it because you didn't answer the question. You just kept going with the scenario. So I'm it's, trying so, to it's move fine. On. I'm, I'm just, trying to move I'm on. Just, I'm just, I'm just uh, gonna I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm just gonna All bring right, it up. that's Anyways, fine. That's fine. Um, All right, cool. All right, once again, you're Kevin McCoy. You're 35. Yep. Um, okay. Yep. It's finally lunchtime. Work today has been a total nightmare as the lead designer of the hit new video game, Tony Hawk's Pro Feet Massaging Simulator, a virtual reality experience. You've been pondering all day over several arches and heels, and even though it's totally gross, sometimes the job is a job. You feel your belly rumble, and you can only think of one thing that you want, a delicious sandwich from your favorite neighborhood bodega, the early fist fight deli. You stroll a few blocks to get there, passing many people uh, offering you food such as hot dogs that are corn on the cob instead of a hot dog, slices of pizza piled with baked beans and vanilla ice cream in a can. You ignore their advances and head to the bodega. There's a decent amount of people. It's lunchtime after all, but you get a ticket and wait in line. Your number gets called. Mm. How do you proceed? Um, I want to know how, how. What is the? What is the? Who is calling the ticket? Can That's, I perceive the room? Who's that, calling the ticket? Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna roll for perception. I think that's the D, &D yes. thing. 
I'd like, yeah, perception. I'd like to know, like, the fervor at which at which this person is calling it, if it's over speaker. I want to know these things, but I do need to, I mean, I do need to. Okay, you you roll a mm. six, so you really kind of just, like, snap your, your, your neck around, like, a little bit, trying to figure out what's going on, which honestly disturbs a lot of the customers that are around you. Uh, mm. But it, but I will say, what you hear from the distance is the deli man um, behind the counter. Uh, okay. A lot of people are disturbed with your with your uh, fervor of moving your head back and forth. Um, they don't want to like do anything to you, but they honestly feel uh, a little upset and off-putted by you as a person. Mm, okay, so I noted, I do notice that. I do notice the off-putness, and so I, I kind of like, I kind of, I kind of reel it back a little bit, and I kind of like give the power to the people, and I kind of, I kind of shyly go, oh, is that, is that me? Is that me? You know, kind of like I'm trying to like win over the crowd here. I'm trying to win back the people, um, okay. because I, I feel like, I feel like the whip, the whip might have been a little too much. It might have been a little too aggressive. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to lower my aggression All right. uh, in the aggro that I do currently have in the deli. Because I know, if there's one thing I know, that I know that a deli is, it is a jungle. It is a, it is a place where you do not mince words. You do not, you do not, it, it, it there, the, people get scratches, right? People get, get, get thing. Get, people People get roughed up in the deli, so if there's, yeah, so so I, I definitely need to like, I definitely need to cool it off a little bit. So okay. I, I definitely go, definitely like a little bit, may, I might like lower myself a little bit, like right, like go like a little hunch, yeah, just like turtle like, uh, hunch, uh. and I'll be like, oh, is that me? Is okay. that me? You know, trying to be on everybody's. I'm side. I'm gonna roll for winning over the crowd. <laughs> Good roll. Good roll for sure. I'm ready for this. Uh, you rolled a two. Uh, so as you do that, everyone uh looks at you. And embarrassment like you know how you watch like a bunch of improv uh comedians mm -hmm. do improv and they get a suggestion that's only dildos and sex jokes and you just you watch them try to cower and try to make it not about dildos and sex jokes uh mm -hmm. that's what happens uh we like to call that in the in the business secondhand embarrassment uh they are second mm -hmm. they are secondhand embarrassed for you but uh they let you walk to the counter um, and you and you look at the guy that called you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I immediately once I get to the once I look at the guy, I turn back really quick, slowly though, and I say and I say out loud to the crowd that was that was looking at me in that way. I say, "What is this? An improv show where I get a suggestion of dildos and I try to not do the dildo thing, and it's kind of awkward and weird." Okay, crazy. I'm gonna roll for a level two improv. Level two. <laughs> you rolled a ten. Uh, not bad. Out, not out, bad. Out of, out of the crowd, two people kind of chuckle, but they're mostly looking at their phone because their cat's on there. Uh, the other mm. people just kind of like don't know what's going on because improv comedy is kind of like a cult in that regard, and they yeah. don't know what's going on unless it's yeah. It doesn't uh, exist in a deli. That's it it, do, sure. it that's doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist. In a, yeah, it should not exist in a deli. <laughs> and quite frankly, all they know is whose line is it anyways, and that hasn't been on main cable in like ten years. So yeah, uh, yeah. But you're no, right. but I will take. I will take. I do. I do. Know, so like, I know that that the cat the cat phone people chuckling are are cat phone people, but. The crowd doesn't know that, so I'll take it, right? I'll take it. I turn yeah. back to the deli man, right? Okay. I turn back to the deli man. Now, can I get a perception? I need to look at this guy. How how big is he, right? I mean, could he? I mean, like, could he? Could he squish me? What's happening here with the deli man? What okay. is what does this guy look like? Let, let's talk about or, the deli man or, for a second. Or person. Uh, what, the, what, the what, what are we looking at? The deli man is about six two. His name is Igor. Um, he's got a very heavy build. He looks like he could probably, uh, punch a, a pig in two, but not a cow. I want to make sure that's very clear. He could punch a pig mm. in two, but not a cow. Um, he, good line. he's not okay. very, he's not very friendly, but he like means business. Like he's got a lot of stuff he's got to do. He's got to make sure he's got his quotas. You know, he's just doing his job kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. I, 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 am I'm, I'm a little bit larger than pig. So I, 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 um, I take that, I take that and I kind of, I definitely put that in the back of my head. I register it. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, and I proceed further. I definitely ask him for uh, for the top qual pastrami, right? For top qual pastrami, okay. I got to go with some salami as well, right? Okay. We're looking to make a meaty sandwich here tonight. Okay. Um, but I try to, I do it in a way. Now, before we roll, I definitely am okay. trying to. I definitely am also try. I'm doing it in a way to try to impress him with my meat uh, yeah. prowess. Your meat, your you know, meat I'm, knowledge. I'm trying to. I'm trying to show my. Can we roll for meat knowledge? Yeah, please? we're gonna I love to. I would love a meat knowledge roll. Meat knowledge. I would love that roll. You rolled a seven. Um, so basically, Ooh. so basically, you say oh, salami, but you say like salami, like you're making fun of Italian people, which honestly, <laughs> in Igor's eyes, is very funny because making fun of Italians is always everyone's top favorite comedy bit uh, since the Sopranos cool. in the early 2000s. Cool. Um, that's that's very that's lucky. That's, but that's once lucky again, that that wins. Every, everyone around you is upset because they're all Italian, but they're also looking at their phones. They don't really give a shit. They're yep. Like this improv comedian is just telling jokes in the middle of the day. Like mm -hmm. we can't, we mm -hmm. can't, we can't handle this. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you got the salami yeah, yeah. and the pastrami. You ask you are for it. That's, that's all great and good. Uh, I'm going to do a uh -huh. roll real quick. Ooh. Okay. You rolled a 10. So while you're, while you are ordering an individual comes in, he puts on a uh. ski mask and he reveals a gun. Like, just a gun. This escalated. Okay. And he says, uh -huh. give me all your money. Give me all your pastrami. I want all your salami. Give me all that. That gabagool, it's all mine, baby. How do okay. you proceed? Okay. Okay. So, first While of all, ordering. how does the crowd feel? How does the crowd feel about this? What does the crowd do? Is the crowd, like, like does the, I mean, everybody's, everybody's normal reacting to this, right? Like a, like a normal human would. I, I, I would say it's about 30, 30, 30. Uh, like there's tension. Yeah, there there's is, tension. There is though. tension. Uh, a couple people okay, okay. immediately understand and then run out. Some people yep. kind of like go to their knees and think they're going to get, you know, think they're going to get shot. Uh, the other 30 are like, I don't give a shit. This is this is New York, baby. This is this is the mm -hmm. big city. This is the big app. True. This is what we do. True. All right, I'm going to go with a little ballsy move here. So I just kind of want, I just, I, in my head, in my eyes, yeah, yeah. I won a little bit with Igor with my with my salami, right? Okay, with yeah, my yeah. salami. And so I'm we're kind of riding that high a little bit. And so I turn and kind of just very impulsively, I probably shouldn't do this. I know in my head I shouldn't do this. But I turn to the man with the gun and I say, hey, you got to get a ticket first. Huh? But I'm I gonna, say it in a little bit of an Italian accent, right? Yeah, I'm gonna roll. But for I do it. say that he has to get a ticket for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for an Italian improv bit. Oh no! Uh, Don't tell me. You roll. Don't you you roll. You roll a five. Uh, so <laughs> he doesn't even laugh. He grabs. Oh, no. He grabs your ticket. And he puts it in his mouth, and he chews it, and then he mm. shoots your foot. Shoots my foot? Yeah. Which foot? Uh, your left foot. <laughs> my left foot? Anyways, your, your um, left foot. I, I see. Now I want to make a joke about the, my left foot. Okay, obviously I scream, right? Pain, yeah. right? Pain. I scream, um, and and I and I collapse to the floor. And uh, I, I, I immediately regret making the jokes that I did. I regret my decision to come in here. I mean, I'm kind of like going through my life decisions like prior to this. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of going through an existential crisis here. And, uh, and, and, and then I'm thinking about I all of a sudden start thinking about the weird things that I encountered on the way here and why I didn't take it as a sign. Like you said, corn on the cob instead of a hot dog. You said something about vanilla ice cream, and be you said beans with pizza yeah. or something like that. And I and I didn't I didn't I didn't clock that before, but that's all kind of kind of rushing to me now. Yeah. And um and so instinctively through the screaming pain, I yell out with a blood curling cry, "Beans on pizza!" And I and I and I grab my foot to to you know suppress the blood that is that is spewing from it like a fountain at, at in high school like a water fountain in high school. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for uh, scream and suppression. 
Yes. Uh, you rolled a 19. So you uh, roll, you, you scream beans on pizza for some reason, and you immediately clasp your, les- your left foot, and yep. uh, you try to stop it from bleeding. You haven't really done much, <laughs> but yell, <Yep. laughs> but yell beans on pizza and hold your foot right now. So, uh-huh. uh, the uh-huh. gun, the gunman is, uh, holding the gun at the, at Igor, the deli man. And, uh, he is starting to pull out some pastrami and some salami to give him. Mm-hmm. Is Igor scared? Uh, Igor looks like he's done this before like Uh, like he looks like he's just been he's been he's had a hard pass uh he's been in pennsylvania he's been in indiana like a lot of Uh places where people get robbed at delis Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i i i sit there right it's kind of like time is kind of slowing down in this moment because of the pain and it's kind of writhing into, it's kind of like reverberating and going uh, in phases through my body. The pain is, right? And in this kind of like slow motion state that I have achieved, it's kind of like a nirvana, I think. And um, I start having these thoughts, right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm developing this game for feet. And I've had this, I've had this hard time. I'm, 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 I'm kind of at this stop. I needed this deli. I needed this thing. And here I have a shot foot. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm looking down. I see a hole. I see this hole, this, this clear hole within my foot. And I look down and I notice and I, and I, and I envision and I realize that this is the new meta. This is the new foot meta is shot bloody feet. And that's what the people want. And so in that moment, I realized that all the pain that I have acquired, all of the, all of the bullshit in life, all of the things that have happened in my life up to this moment do not matter anymore. And and I get this sense of relief. I get this sense almost as if like I'm passing gas, this release. And I, and, I, and, I, and I let go of my foot, the suppression. It's bleeding still, nonetheless. I let go. I stand up to, my, to the best of my ability. I look at the man that just shot me in the left foot. And I say, thank you. Okay. How does he respond? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll for the thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do all that nonsense as you get up and you look him in the eyes and you say thank you. And he puts the the gun next to your temple and he and he pulls it. You know, as as you fall back with a with a bullet in your temple, uh, he says, "No, thank you," and scene. Sir, I am so sorry, but you have <laughs> died during your no dungeons, no dragons experience, folks. Please yeah. follow. Follow that what a way to go out, student. though, man. What you a way tried, to go you out. Tried, I, you tried your best. Do you have anything to tell this lovely crowd before I let you go? You know, I, I want to say that I was playing a character in this game, but yeah. honestly, that was just me. That's simple and true. If you come to my stream while I'm streaming, those are the kind of jokes you're going to get. That's the kind of improv you're going to get, all right? That's the kind of shit you're going to get. And if you don't like it, do not enter the deli is what I got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada Bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That sandwich shoot, thank you so so much for being on the Dungeons & Dragons. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I will say there's no way that at least there's got to be one person in that deli that survived that night. Uh, that deli experience, which is probably everybody else in the deli that survived. Yeah. Um, there's got to be one person that took that and is like 
telling the story of me, you know? Let me like roll the telling it at quick. like the dinner table, maybe. Can we roll one last roll for maybe this like this dinner talk? Maybe I'm dinner talk for one person in that deli, please. Uh, I rolled or a five. So basically, they uh, just this... said like some fucked up shit happened at a deli today. I don't know. This guy kept babbling about thank you and thank me, and then <laughs> he died. <laughs> and like pass the matzo balls or pass the pizza, whatever, whatever I, New Yorkers gonna... do. <laughs> I'm not... I, if I recall, uh, from what we just did, uh, Mayor Words, if I recall the entire campaign that we just went through, yeah, I did not roll very well. <laughs> no, you didn't. These That's uh, it. Ha it happens once in a while. I, I, I will admit, we had <laughs> uh, when I had Hamall Kid on here, he ripped his pants in front of a bunch of um people in Office Max, a bunch of teens. And he rolled so bad that uh, one of them became like a sociopath and killed someone because of his role. So, oh. you know, just ruining nice. the world. Uh, yeah. Folks, yeah, yeah. please follow this that sandwich, dude. Uh, thank you so much for being on the program. I will talk to you <laughs> soon, buddy. Me. And uh, have, a, have a lovely evening. Uh, you too. You too. And good night. I'll miss you. I'll miss you I'll too. Miss you.